Carlos Pep, uh, Paul Vallus, el uh, diario Sport, y Parracu. Uh, I wanted to ask you, just for David Silva, uh, what does it mean for the team uh, seeing the David Silva playing just that masterclass that he played today and seeing him with his son just on his arms on the beginning of the game? Well, uh, again, he made an outstanding performance the first game after the, the summer time. Of course, he was so motivated because his family, uh, parents and his wife and especially Mateo is here. And uh, he scored an amazing goal for him. So he saw never forget the first time he saw his father playing football. He could score in this uh, outstanding goal. So we met him two days ago. Now was in the locker room with all the team, all the squad. So family was there. It was a big moment for us because last season was a tough moment for his family. For and fortunately, he fought a lot, the little boy, and and he's here. So. It's a, a, a special day, a special day for, for them, for us, for for David. Hi, Pep. It's uh, Peter Staunton from, from Goal. Um, before the game, we had trouble, I suppose, working out what kind of conventional formation uh, that City team would play in today. What advantage uh, against teams that sit very deep, what advantage does playing a system like that uh, give Manchester City? Well, we suffered last season a lot against, against uh, Huddersfield. And no software is not the problem, but we had the problems to attack more fluently like today. Last season, the teams they defend four or five in the back or, or deep, you know, defend the strikers, go so deep, helping uh, holding midfielders. And uh, last season we did it once or twice, not, not, not much more, but uh, we decided today to prove to play with two strikers, to be more present in the box. And knowing that we have Mendy, like he's a guy who arrived and is clever in the final third, not just arrive and cross, he's clever to see the pass in front of the the keeper or in the penalty spot, the pass or out of the 18-yard box. He's a, he's a clever guy arriving there. And today it works, <laughs> but that does not mean in the next games we're going to play all the time in that way because every every game, it depends on the quality of the players we have, the players we play, we adapt the way we attack. But important is the desire, again, without the ball. So we are started with a, <coughs> a lot of people coming back late, too late, too late. And uh, Community Shield, Arsenal, and today we show today was much better in terms of football and consistency during 90 minutes. Again, Chelsea and, and Arsenal, I think we survive more than play good. But today, attacking 10 players in the box, we did it quite, quite well. Simon Bykowski, Manchester Evening News. Pep, what did you make of Benjamin Mendy's performance today and is there a lot more to come from him? Well, uh, we, we know his physicality. Now now we have one game a week, so we have time to recover. I don't know what's going to happen when we're going to play every three days, especially in winter time. But he's a guy with the full energy, and uh, offensive and defensively, and, and also with, uh, with the ball. And all the guys he played these three games, not just you know, not just today. They did it, all of them. They did it well. Pep, yeah, uh, about Gabriel, uh, Fred Caldeira for Sport Interactivo Brasil. About Gabriel, <coughs> uh, he had a hard time during the World Cup. He was a name for the squad f by TT last Friday for the national team. Uh, this performance, scoring a goal, how that can help him in terms of confidence now? I think a lot. So all the players want to play, and when they play, they play in good performance. It's hippie. I think we trust in Gary a lot, and Tite, I think he trusts as well, but this is the first game after. And the people say in the World Cup, play good. <coughs> he didn't score, but play good. And Brazil lost against Belgium because Belgium is, was an outstanding performance in the World Cup. but. Brazil, we cannot say they play bad. He created a lot of chances too. And uh, Brazil, I think he, he made a good World Cup in Gabriel too. But of course, here we judge if we win or no win, if you score goals or you score goals. But I think my colleague Tite and myself and all our staff, we give a lot of credit what Gabriel gave us in terms of spaces and uh, help us in defensively in the box. In the magnificent goal score, he, he had three or four chances more. So that is what we need, and that's why we are the light. Hi, Pep. I'm Jamie Jackson, The Guardian. Um, Josie Mourinho has accused your club, Manchester City, of um, lacking class. 
um, with regard to the new documentary, he said, and I quote, if you are a rich club, you can buy all the top players, but you cannot buy class. That's just true. I'm just wondering if you have a response. That's true, you cannot buy class. I agree with him, with Jose. We cannot buy class. Do Manchester City have class, in your view? I think we, we live one amazing season last season. It was cameras, and we do it for ourselves. I think it was... I'm not agree with Jose in, in terms of re disrespectful, because I think this was not our intention. It's just to filming what happened last season. But I think it's a club who try to to grow, to 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 try to to win titles like all the clubs and the big clubs in the world. And we did it with for ourselves, for our fans, and to see what happened inside the locker room. But. From the beginning, the players and everybody in the club said we are for doing. Of course, the opponents are there, but so is his opinion, Joseph's opinion. And other guys are going to say we like, and other guys say no. So, so it's simple like that. But of course, I agree with him. The class you cannot buy it. Pep, Paul Hurst from the Times. It's Sergio's um, ninth. Premier League hat trick since he came to England. What do you think that says about him that he can still do it after so many years here and he didn't miss a couple of chances? Do you think he still can become a bit more clinical? More clinical, it's okay. With three goals a game, it's okay. So I'm not going to demand him more clinical. So since he came back, since he came back, uh, I saw him from the first second, for the first minute. Wow, came back perfect. So I think the cirurgy from Dr. Kugat helps a lot because he feels free now and he suffered the last years with some problems. And it's not just a score of goals, the spaces, he creates chances, move, assists, passes, how fought, he never stopped. And when that's happened, Sergio is um, one of the best, 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 best strikers in the world, without a doubt. So. Uh, so what I could say so chapeau so we see in this period since we arrived community shield arsenal today so it's it's perfect okay last couple guys um pep um yeah, I, um on the subject of of you can't buy class and and josie's correct in certain levels at what stage do you would you ever see manchester city having that class and i know what you mean it's about titles and and winning things. I answer, it's I a answer, journey. I answer, so I answer the how question. long do you think the journey can take? I answer the question. Fair enough.